Hey there, Silver Tongue Devil here, and today, as promised, we're going to be looking at some of the more advanced techniques for my scoring strategy involving barrage of needles. So, just a quick recap, we are in cycle 1, going to be going after Red Knights and Black Knights, Orphans and Incubi, and we're also going to be paying special attention to Gabriel. The target variety that we can go after will increase in later cycles, but for now we'll just look at cycle one. <laughs> Do you think I'm funny? Do you get me, sir? Yes, sir! So first things first, teleport arrow right next to the enemy and headshot. Simple, easy, effective. If you're quick, they won't even have chance to draw their sword before you've already shot them in the face. So it's quite a safe technique. Be prepared to pop your shield on just in case you mess it up. If you teleport close enough, they'll have to pause again before they can actually even hit you. And if they haven't seen you on your approach, they've even got to turn around to face you before they can do a thing. Now, this is a great technique for us that I believe was originally founded by For The Right, so all credit to him on this one, where basically you get line of sight and alert enemies, you then retreat back around a corner, as the enemies then come around that corner, they'll actually pause before trying to engage you in combat, and then try to strike you. During that pause is all the window that we need to be able to put a barrage straight into the face. So as long as they are on path to get you, you can just hide around a corner and they'll stand there. Now although I'd much rather rush an enemy down, this does really help us against anything that is keen on getting close to you and engaging in combat. Getting safe around that corner and then being able to pop the barrage shot easily enough stops us having to waste resources like Hand of God or Freeze to make the job easy. These guys are pros. You thinking what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. Another little quick one here. If you've alerted knights in the area, if you jump up to an area where they can't actually get you, they'll then engage into their throwing X mode. They're then sitting ducks. You can then quite safely teleport back down to them and then headshot them at your leisure. As I think we went over before, orphans are worth a heck of a lot of points, especially at those later cycles. But as with any orphan kill, when we're going for a close range and not dealing with everything around them, if we haven't had the opportunity to do that, we want to be in and we want to be out again. So we want to get near that orphan, we want to be as close as possible, we want to dump a barrage of needles in its face, we then want to give it a split second to make sure that it's reset so that we can put another one in and keep doing that until it's dead. Obviously you'd want to use Hand of God here where you can, that will make the job a lot easier. Hopefully if you don't have Hand of God it's because you're at an early cycle and so barrage of needles should take down orphans relatively quickly allowing you to escape fast. You're empty. So are you. It's also worth noting at this point that later on into the game especially you need to be incredibly efficient. Try to ensure you're not wasting shots. Make sure if you barrage have needled an enemy and it's still alive with very little life left, you finish it off with a normal arrow to conserve ammunition. Remember that there's not always going to be enough quivers for you to keep plenty of barrage of needles in stock. We also need to keep in mind as well, especially on Paradise Lost, that you need to be keeping hold of barrage of needles for Gabriel. Now, some quick notes on Anakim here. I wouldn't bother using Barrage of Needles on him directly to the face. You can score some nice points out of it, but it's very difficult to find that fine line of being efficient with Barrage of Needles without taking damage. You are better off either rushing him down with your usual arrow, be it Cataclysm, Wraths of God, or whatever it is that you're used to. During those later cycles, we want to be relying on snow globing. That's what I call the combination of Hand of God and Winter's Bite. 
you'll also find that needles will take out the archers and the knights if you want to farm them incredibly quickly and is a very good scoring opportunity as well now i don't think it'll come as any surprise to anybody using double barrage of needles over standard barrage of needles is obviously a lot better fully upgraded quibble wise you'll get 39 shots of double barrage of needles as opposed to the 26 that you would get with standard barrage of needles also double barrage of needles when you start getting to those higher cycles where enemies can take more than one barrage of needle shot then you're getting more points more efficiency out of just the single shot now this is what i believe is my personal little crowning achievement in something that i found that you can do you can actually using double shot pause between the actual shots of double barrage of needles so what that means then is especially in those earlier cycles we can be hyper efficient you can do that by loading up double barrage of needles firing instantly hitting arrow select to put yourself into slow motion and then aiming your bow at the next target if the targets are close together like we have here you can hit one and then put it straight onto the other now be warned this does take some practice because you're going to have to angle the bow whilst it's in slow motion during that second shot to make sure that you're hitting the head the one thing that i found with the bow over the crossbow is that there seems to be a little bit more of a delay or maybe i'm just better on the bow than i am with the crossbow on it however although you don't have as much time it seems with the crossbow for that second shot the aiming does seem to be a lot easier either way this can really help your scoring and your ammo efficiency later on you're getting multiple uses out of the one shot and hopefully as you can appreciate anything that's going to help us increase our efficiency is well worth practicing so one of the enemies that we haven't covered yet is the incubi now what i would recommend is clear the enemies out if they're high scoring enemies make sure you use your barrage of needles to do so what we want to try and do is maneuver incubi to long distance crossbow shots or little tiny half draw headshots with the bow this is in an attempt to keep the damage low whilst we stagger them backwards we then want to make sure that they're facing away from us that way when we hit them in the head they'll actually back up towards us where you can wait for them to angle and then you can get these sideways shots like i'm doing incubi are well worth taking the effort to do that on because they're worth a lot of points and whilst we're on the subject of incubi they're not very compliant but if you stay out of line of sight of them they do have a tendency of teleporting around which can help you get the angles try and get a little raise so you can get almost on level with them shots like this are acceptable as well as long as you're aiming for the top of the head you'll get a lot of points out of them so these boys are some of the biggest point hitters out there especially the ones in the pits in purgatory there's going to be five of them that's a lot of headshots also because you're in a pit you can be taking advantage of that 2.5 times multiplier there's a lot of easy points up for grabs lots of places to catch them for those easy kills lots of ways and places to maneuver them around again try and get up high try and teleport behind try and draw them towards you by shooting and then try and shoot them either away or sideways into another platform that you can then use to do the same thing or trap them against something which is even better and you're just raining in the points now throughout the video up until this point i am aware that i'm not actually going into the nitty gritty of the actual point scoring here however i can assure you you will improve your score by using these techniques incubi are the big hitters so if you do nothing else try and keep some needles for their faces when you're in the pits in purgatory on the subject of asmodeus there's actually a couple of opportunities here for us to score a few points first one can be a bit difficult what you want to be doing is clearing out all of the enemies first as you can see i'm doing where the incubus starts off is not a great position for us to be able to take shots if you stay out of sight he will teleport 
this isn't a bad location you can just about make a decent ranged headshot on him force him into the pillar that'll allow you to get some extra headshots there the second incubus is a lot more clear cut an opportunity but you've got to be quick take out the cupid take out the arches and then you'll see that the incubus is right where we want him and we can just headshot him force him back across the platform as you can see here i've got him to very little life and then finish him off with a headshot from distance to maximize points your ego is astounding keep uh, the man himself so you join me here on paradise lost 4 on gabriel the fallen what we're going to be going for here is using a hog or hand of god to stick him in place a little longer than usual as he rises we're going to place that hog just behind him so we get as much out of it as possible and then as soon as we see that flinch we're going to give him as much good news to the face as we possibly can with our double barrage of needles that technique will work with obviously both the crossbow and the bow you'll get a sweeter tune out of double barrels doing that with the crossbow just because it's much better rate of fire now we're going to be sticking close to gabriel hugging these pillars so that he can't hit us with the fireball waiting for him to do his swoop as soon as we see that blazing sword hog him get up a little bit of height and then more barrage to the face if he starts retreating another platform back here and we'll just simply finish him off now part of the reason why i've said about making a point of keeping ammunition for gabe is again i don't want to go too much into the points on that but that was probably a good 30 40k right there it also makes gabriel a relatively simple easy to finish boss what you've also got to remember is the further you get into the game the more health gabriel will have and then you're just getting even more points out of him with every encounter okay so one of the things that we haven't actually covered here is what does this actually look like at these higher cycles well here's purgatory seven so i'm still playing around with the techniques but i found my way to purgatory seven using everything i'm at seven million seven million at the beginning of cycle seven it'll get better the further you go on as well as long as you can keep the ammo going now you'll see that i've got double barrage of needles hand of god a single barrage of needles and a winter's bite hand of god and winter's bite are for anakin but i can also use them for enemies as well so one of the last little things i wanted to add to all of this was making use of drops and shots so if you for instance were carrying in your quiver a couple of barrage of needles winter's bite and hand of god like i am if i was to find a winter's bite or another hand of god i would then be free to pick up any other barrage of needles that i find in the level replacing either winter's bite or hand of god with them making use of them and making use of the arrows and the ammunition and then right at the end before we go to the boss going and picking back up and replacing whatever i sacrificed for that additional barrage of needles that way you're getting more ammunition you're being efficient you're getting a chance to use the barrage of needles and in addition to that as well you'll still have the arrows that you need or want and your utility for doing the bosses and so there you have it as a little bit of a final thought on this one this is a more difficult way to play the game it is very high risk for very high reward you're not going to be able to use your usual arrow crutches such as tempests or wrath of gods or if you are you're going to be taking less of them if you want to carry barrage of needles around with you obviously this is going to get harder the further you get so one of the things to consider is you could use this to bolster your early cycle scoring say maybe up to cycle four whilst you're collecting all of your favorite arrows and then switch back over to your normal techniques it'll just give you a few more hundred thousand onto your score maybe even a million help you beat that personal best